Hey Toy Fans, Kyle here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the newish Yokai Watch Model Zero. Of course, this was introduced in the very first episode of Yokai Watch Season 2. 2. This is the latest and greatest in Yokai technology, including Yomotion, which is a brand new thing specifically and exclusive to the American version of the Yokai Watch. Uh, taking just a quick look at the packaging, we can see. We've got Yokai Watch Model Zero right there. You've got the watch right there in all its glory inside of the packaging. You got Nate there doing kind of a pose, striking a pose, looking cool. Uh, you've got the Jabanyan medal, medal, the Jabanyan medal right there, and of course the Come On Come On medal, which uh, is just right there, I guess. Uh, you have a Try Me button for the Yo Motion, so when you hold it up, you get the scanning sound, and then on the top corner you can see. It might be hard to see because of my exposure, but there's a little animation right there. We'll look into that little gimmick just a bit later, but of course you can try me, the try the projector, inside the box, which I think is really cool. On this side you have another really nice picture of Nate. I think it's the same exact image except blown up quite a bit. Recognizes 75 Yo Motion medals. Uh, and on the back, of course, it talks a little bit about the projecting Yo Motion animations, the Yokai Tribe song, Jibanyan! Uh, and then 75 Metal, same thing over again, and advertises the mobile app, uh, as well as talks a little bit about the Yokai Medallion right there, which you can store your Yokai Watch medals in when you have a chance. Uh, that is it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and let's open this baby up. So here we have the Yokai Watch Model Zero all out of the packaging, and before we go on and continue with this review, I just want to mention that at the end of this video we're going to be doing some blind bag unbaggings. You know, those are my favorite things to do. If you're watching my holiday five days of blind box unboxings, we got some Yo Motions we're going to open up at the end of this video and see what we got. So here is the Yokai Watch Model Zero, and this is everything you get. You get two medals, of course, Jabanyan and Come On, Come On. We're going to take a quick look at these a little bit later when we start taking a look at some of the functions of the actual watch. And we have the watch itself, which is pretty dang nice looking, if you ask me. Now, if you're a fan of Yokai Watch, which you are, and you've probably already seen what this watch looks like, we can see it's a lot more bright, or, well, a lot more colorful. Instead of it just being stark white, it is now molded in this really light blue color. The strap is now light blue. You still have sort of that Aztecian detail on the back. The watch itself now has a gold dial that rotates. And the face of the watch is molded in this very matted red plastic. And then of course you have the Yokai watch sticker. Remember kids, this does not actually tell time. Uh, other new details, of course, the most jarring two are going to be right here, this sort of fake LED lights. Now in the Japanese version, this was an actual LED light where you could scan and then see, of course, where the yokai was. And then you have this section right here, which is the housing for the three LED lights that shines down through the metal. It shines through these two little gobo animation cells. And then down here, you have a mirror that reflects outwards onto the wall, and that's how you get your projection effect. It also has the same LED scanning gimmick that the Japanese version does, uh, where whenever you just want to shine a light without a yokai metal in there, you can do that, but it doesn't utilize the actual housing designed for the LED in the Japanese versions, it just utilizes the projector. Uh, which I can see why they did that, that's fine. Uh, but they also included this little housing, which is just a nice little added feature. I understand why they did it like this, because they didn't want to change the design too much. Uh, and I think it's perfectly fine the way it looks. It's super cool, super shiny, super sleek, and I love it. Uh, now, the watch has two different modes. It has its Try Me mode, which basically just utilizes the Yo Motion gimmick. Uh, when you flip it, it's just going to cycle through that one time. If you hold it, it's not going to do anything. If you rotate it, it's not going to do anything. It just does one. It just does one cycle through there. Uh, and again, you can see the LED lights flashing down from up here. The other mode is, of course, the main play mode, which you get. And you get that sweet sound. And this is where you sort of have a couple different, I don't want to say modes, but there are a couple different ways to activate each metal. Uh, but it doesn't really particularly matter which order you did. If you wanted it to be show accurate, you can definitely do that. So you'll take a metal, such as Jibanyan right here, flip them over. 
You'll insert your metal like so. And then you'll have the insert sound, but in order to start the activation, you have to take the dial on the watch and twist it right over here to one. And that'll start summoning, and then if you want to summon his tribe, you take it and you flip it all the way down to two, which is right there. Summoning Charming! Cabana! Pretty busy right now. And after you summon the tribe, Edelkar say his name again that you've already heard a few times, and then now he has a quote. Unfortunately, this is the same quote that was in... This metal, which is what came with the original Yokai watch. So if you wanted to, while it's not entirely backwards compatible, you can take the old metals from the first series of watches, the one that don't have the yo motion. It'll recognize the tribe, but it won't actually recognize uh, the character. Now, to get to the Yo Motion mode, of course, I showed you you can do that in the Try Me mode. That's the easy way, the lazy way to do it. Now, when there isn't a metal stuck in there, what you can do is you can take this switch, and then you just want to hold it forward. And then now, I don't know if you can see it, I might have to turn off my lights. There is that long-awaited LED light that we wanted so badly from the first Yokai watch that was never included. So it says searching for Yokai, and now you can actually finally search for the Yokai. Visibly search for it, which is really cool. And once you get let go of the lever, of course it goes away. And while we're still dark, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the Yo motions. So you just take the Yokai medal, we're gonna start with Jabanyan. Insert it into the watch. Let it make its sounds, and now we're going to take the same lever, push it forward, and it's going to play through his three cells of animation. On the camera, let me see if I can get a little bit closer. And I really dig that. And of course, while we're at it, we're just going to take a quick look at Come On, Come On's animation while we're still sitting here in the dark, because, you know, that, what's not more fun than doing that? It's sitting in the dark. Hey, that's kind of fun and creepy at the same time. So the frame rhythm and the frame right that was on Jabanyan's is a little bit different. I'm not sure if that's a glitch or if that's actually by design. If that's by design, then that's pretty impressive, to be completely honest with you. And we're back. So while we're at it, we're just going to pull back the original Yokai watch, do a quick comparison. Of course, the May. Let's get this in focus. Uh, most major difference is, of course, the color. This one done all in white plastic, and this one being colorful and pretty. Uh, of course, that's also been removed. You no longer have to flip that open in order to scan. And this one seems to be just still a bit louder than the new version. Looking at the back, it is for the most part the same detail. Uh, and that basically does it for the Yokai Watch Series 2, Season 2, Model Zero. I really like this watch. This is the watch that I kind of hope we got the first year around. There are a lot of people that don't like the Yo Motion gimmick, and we have a name for people like those. They're called idiots. <laughs> that was mean, but the Yo Motion gimmick is amazing. The fact that they were able to put something like that in a $25 toy, a whole, you know, projector light gimmick in something this small. Uh, that offers that much playability that is actually something that is seen in the show. You know, when they're scanning for yokai, they're looking for yokais on the walls. And now you can actually see them on the walls because of this watch. Yeah. The fact that you get different animations for every metal is just ridiculous. Uh, I think this is fantastic. This is a must-have for a yokai watch fan. Even if you're a Japanese fan, you have all your fancy Japanese version toys, uh, still definitely get this version because it is fantastic. Uh, and the Yo Motion, I think, is just really, really great.
Anyway, that does it for this review. I promised some unbagging, so what we're going to do is we're going to put everything to the side. Point the camera down. And we're going to open some yokai medals. Because that's what we like to do here. We pulled out our nice little knife. And now, uh, instead of the original ones, we now only get two because I would imagine because of the Yo Motion, there's somewhat of a price difference in terms of the cost of having to produce the metals, and I'm fine with that. So who do we have? We have, let's see, we have Walkappa and Miradox. Oh, sorry, not in focus. So let's go ahead, let's take a look at them in the Yokai watch itself. Starting with Miradox here. And he's got that creepy sound. Let's take a look at his yell motion animation. See how cool it is. And of course, Wall Kappa. And we have another bag of yokai medals to open and a new knife as well. Let's see what we got. So in our second set we now have... Looks like another Wild Kappa. Oh, that kind of stinks. And then we have Lionheart. All right, so we've already seen this and heard this one, so we're gonna take that and toss it to the side. Let's go ahead, let's listen to Lionheart and take a look at his Yo Motion animation. his yo motion animation real quick. Anyway, that does it for this review of the Yo-Kai Mod Watch Metal Zero. If you're a fan of reviews of toys that are two months old, I hope you really enjoyed this one. Uh, again, highly recommended toy, especially for a fan of Yo-Kai Watch. Uh, it's really a great toy, and it's very rare that we see a toy that is as equal to, or maybe sometimes better, uh, than the Japanese version. And in my opinion, I think the Yomotion makes this toy just slightly better. Though, the Japanese version, which I don't have, um, it has a premium paint finish. It looks, uh, when you're looking at them and comparing them side by side, I would say the Japanese version looks better and it's more show accurate. Uh, and of course, it has that going for it. Uh, anyway, that does it for this review. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button right there. Like, dislike, it doesn't matter. As long as you push one of those two buttons, it helps me greatly and helps promote my videos. So thank you very much. Be sure to check back for more reviews. I've got a ton more in the works. If you enjoy Yokai Watch videos, let me know. And I hope you have a great and safe 2017. Let's hope this year doesn't suck. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.